you want to be one of the cool guys, buy my merch. Hello everyone, we're back with another video. My hand, I have a fracture in it, everyone keeps asking. It's gonna, it's taking a few weeks, I'm seeing a specialist in two, two and a half weeks, I think. So it's, it's taking its time, I can't hit anything, I can't spar. I'm still hoping to get something in. Like the last show of the year will be sweet, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, in the meantime, like I can do everything else. I can run, I can bike, I can swim. I can kind of lift weights, but I can do like pulling things. I can't push anything, but like pulling is all right. Just pushing is no good. So, or like curling, all the things that matters. I'm meant to be wearing the uh, splint now, but I've, I've kind of been wearing it to bed. So if you're my specialist, I'm sorry. But yeah, anyway, so in the me I've done a couple of these in the past. I've done a couple of uh, triathlons. I was just thinking of something. I've been like cycling with my mate. He's a cycle freak, Tom. And I've been doing some uh, swimming. I'm always running, but obviously when you're running too much, your joints take a battering. I'm still doing like tie pads, just one handed and whatnot. But anyway, I figured if I can, I'll do a triathlon, raise some money for charity. It's a good thing for me to stay, not motivated, because I'm always motivated, stay positive while I can't train fully. So like, I can still push myself and still do something. I'm not really gonna hurt myself while I'm doing it. So yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna announce the charity in the next, or maybe later in the video, because I haven't, we haven't finalized what we're doing yet. There's a few ideas going around, but I just wanna, I just wanna make sure it's like the right thing and the right cause and they're doing good stuff and all that. And also we have a new sponsor I'm gonna announce probably in the next video because I haven't got the stuff from them yet. So keep an eye out for that. They're gonna be supporting us. If you are a company that has stuff like um, supplements that could help, you know, like electrolytes, energy gels, bars, all that shit, all that shit. <laughs> if your company has all that shit, obviously with the triathlons, that's a big thing. Like I say, I have done a couple, but I don't really, I'm an okay runner. I'm an okay swimmer and I can ride a bike. So it's like, use my body as a vessel. <laughs> Not in that way. Look if he's bored of it. Carlos also ran a few triathlons in his life. I was looking at doing a half Ironman, but in like three weeks notice, it was, a bit, it was a bit tight. To be honest, I think I could do it. I think I could do it like minimal training. I, I feel like you could outwill it and do it. But while I'm trying to do all my other training, albeit one-handed, I'm still training hard, like throwing kicks, knees, elbows, practicing everything, just can't throw my left hand for a little bit, a couple of weeks. So I figured, I think it was September, it was the September 28th or 29th. And also we have a load of gear. I haven't got it with me, but when I get home, I'm going to put this in the video as well. But I have a load of gear. Uh, we're going to auction off for different charities. Like um, I have uh, one of my UFC hats, like one of the cornerman hats, like track suits, a couple of fight shirts. I have about nine pairs of fight shorts, red shorts. I always wear the red shorts. I don't know if I want to let any of them go. I'm a bit sentimental with the shorts, but maybe if you're going to give the right price to donate to charity, I'll probably be enticed. But then I'd be scared if I put them up and I get 50 quid for my shorts for a charity. I'll be like, that's a bit of crap, isn't it? No, you you set the starting price. All right, okay. Well, we'll see if anyone wants the shorts for 500 quid minimum. I really don't want to let go of my fight shorts, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll think of something. Um, loads of pairs of gloves. I am sentimental with this stuff. I don't really want to, but like the track suits, the shirts, but the things are actually fighting, like the shorts and the gloves, I'm a bit, a bit funny. But anyway, we're going to do auctions. That's going to be on the almighty site. Obviously, you still get your mighty merch. We've got hats, we've got Halloween stuff coming soon. With some new ideas. Free shirts available for the Halloween season coming up. We have the uh, the classic, the Frank and Allen. We have the alien one, which I kind of, I had my cast on and I drew it. I sent it to Joe, average Joe does our arts and the designs. He kind of just went over it and made it look cleaner. <laughs> he said, there you go, I was like, sweet face, Joe. But I love it, I think it looks really cool. And we also have the Blood Splatter Almighty logo that he done for us. We done that last year for Halloween, but we never used it. And it was actually my favorite logo. And I was always trying to use it, trying to use it, but we waited, ended, ended up waiting until this Halloween. We also have beanies coming out very soon. All our uh, summer stuff, like the bucket hats, so hoodies, I think we've got t-shirts, the muscle, these these boys are 20% off on the website. So if you go on the almightymerch.co website now, you can get yourself 20% off. If it's your first order, AAA 10, get 10% off. Does that work with the 20% off? Yeah. So you, if it is your first order on our website, the 20% off sale, you got 20% off, and it's your first order, triple A 10 in the uh, in the checkout, then you get 30% off. It's not exactly fair, it's not really how math works, but it's, well, yeah, if it says 10, no, it's cause you get 10% off what's already 20% off. So like those two, it doesn't like. Yeah, so you get 10% off your order, then you're also getting 20% off. That adds up to 30%, however you spend it. I don't think that's how math works. 
I'm not very good at math, so I don't know if that works that way or whatever. Regards to the auction we're going to be doing on the Almighty Merch website, I'm just picking the charities basically. So yeah, when you see the auction, say this hat for example, it'll be like uh, auction for this hat. Start let's say tenner. I'll sign it if you want to. It will say which charity it's going to. So in this bag, I have loads of random fight stuff. I haven't decided what I'm going to auction fully yet. You know, obviously I have stupid things like pants. I think these are fight worn pants. Yeah, yeah, they are fight worn because I ripped the the tag itches your ass while you're fighting. So I ripped the I ripped the label out. If that was something someone would want, you freaks, we could put that on there. In the name of charity, I could do that. We have. Uh, let me show you the one out of the packet, my one. The UFC uh, 304, they had the, uh, they do like the pay-per-view jerseys. And obviously the Manchester special one. I have that. Let me see, an extra large. Again, if you want anything signed, I'm more than happy to do that. I do have two of them, one in the pack, one out of. I have my old groin guard, which isn't up for auction. That's my gum, should have been looking for that. I might even auction one of these kit bags, the Venom kit bags. They're pretty cool, the five week bags they give you. I have, last time we were at Manchester, they gave me, I don't know how many, but there's these UFC uh, Arnold Allen featherweight tops cards. I mean, they gave me a load of them, they just had a load of stock left basically, so they gave me those. They're not like one of one or anything, but uh, they are special because they say I'm five foot eight, but I'm five foot nine. Again, I could sign them if you win the auction personalize it or if you just want it signed or even if you don't want it signed or if you want me to draw a small penis on the card i could do that in the name of charity i've had a few fights guys i have had a few fights so we have one four five official fight week corner man fight week again fight hats yeah i have five of these caps they'll be up for grabs i have a men's medium this is not a walkout track so this is a fight week tracksuit so like when we do the press and the workout stuff in the week this is the tracksuit they give us so it's a men's medium uh again if you want anything signed these will be signed or if you just want the fight week tracksuit as is do an auction for that that is mine i wore it i don't know if that increases or decreases the value one of my walkout tracksuits yeah i think that, i think this was toronto yeah so this will be up for auction this is the the walkout tracksuit See, this is the money, but I'm, you know, I have to figure out which ones are from which fight. Different gloves, you know, sometimes they mean something to me. Sometimes it's just like, oh, that's another fight, whatever. Um, certain ones I don't want to get rid of. I actually have a box full of, yeah. <laughs> These shorts are from, they're from the Mosfar fight, I think, because the sticker was peeling off, I remember that. They got me good. All right. Okay, so this is from the last fight, which I wore. This is the walkout tracksuit, the men's medium from the last one. Those are a few of the things we've got to auction off for now, but I'm sure we're going to have more than I've put out here. Thank you for watching. I know it's a bit of a weird video, just me talking about what I'm going to do for auctions for charities and that. Yeah, why not do something good in the meantime while I can't? I'm just trying to stay fit, and if my fitness can do that, you know, why not? You're not going to get no David Goggins stuff out of me, but could be fun thanks for watching like subscribe buy a shirt tell a friend if you're rich donate a lot bye